Would you like to get sound isolation in your home studio, but you can't afford to soundproof your rooms? Well, you might just be in luck because I discovered a new method that hopefully solves this problem for a lot of home studio engineers. If you've been following realhomerecording.com over the past few years, you know that I've become a big fan of remotely controlling machines. Whether it is using shadow for video game playing, whether it's using mix analog or access analog to control audio hardware, I am a huge fan of using you know, a cheap machine to access a more expensive machine and that solves a big problem which is budget. Well, guess what? I got another solution for a big budget problem that most home studios run into, and that is sound isolation. Control room isolation from your recording room, your live room, such as right here, I'm in a kitchen, and I would like to track different instruments in this kitchen, or some tracks in the living room, or maybe I, I do vocals in the attic. Well, guess what? The problem with that is I'm hearing the actual instrument, I'm hearing the singer, and I can't hear what I'm actually recording because it, there's a bleed, there's bleed. And guess what, in professional studios, they don't have that problem because they have isolation. They have sound-proofed rooms and not even bass gets through them. Okay, maybe bass does sometimes, but anyway, look, here's what I've been doing. I was looking into how to do remote PC controlling because I have another computer to use now and it is more powerful than the one I have right now, but the one I have right now is, or I should say the, the old one that I have, it is still my main rig. I wanted to control the other one that's on the same network as my main rig, but I didn't want to have to get up and walk to the other computer and then sit down and you know I wanted to be able to control both computers from the same computer from the same monitor well it took a few tries because all the software I was using had problems the one that I landed on the one that I just found out about that I hope continues into the future because for some reason it's free I don't know why it's free I don't know how they survive when it's free but I'm glad it is free and I want to support this company, but there's, to my knowledge, there's no way to donate to them. Anyway, maybe they're Russian hackers and they're looking at our screens, which is a possibility. I don't know. Or Chinese hackers. I don't know. But here's the thing. The company is called Parsec Gaming. What Parsec Gaming, or Parsec for short, because that's actually what the program is called. Parsec allows you to actually get into a computer and play video games over the internet with other people. Now that's the intent of the software, but here's the cool thing. You can actually control another computer and its latency is very small. Latency is the delay between the time you move the mouse or press a key and then it actually reacts. That's a problem with a lot of programs. They don't react very well. The other problem I've run into is the video quality has been horrendous for certain programs. Well. Parsec, brilliant, works great. I can now use this program and mobile app to isolate myself from the live room, from the room that I'm recording in with one exception. You need to have an assistant because if you're not in the same room, you can't move the mic, you can't you know, change the microphone gain knob, unless you have a doll that, I'm sorry, a uh, audio interface that supports that function, because some of them do. But for most of us, we're gonna need to actually manually change a knob. But anyway, Parsec. Parsec allows you to control the doll and hear it. And the audio quality isn't that bad. Now here's the problem though. None of these remote PC applications can handle ASIO output. That's it's just not something they can do very well at all, okay? So you're gonna combine Parsec with either Audio Movers Listen To, which you have to pay a subscription fee, but it's only $10 per month or $100 per year. So it's not that expensive. 
Some of you guys out there, I don't know what you're doing. It's thinking $10 is too much. Now, if you're in another country outside of the United States, I understand it. $10 can be a lot of money, okay? I'm not talking about you guys. I'm talking about people in the USA, people in Canada, people in the UK. Come on, guys. $10, bucks. you are really going to complain about $10? And anyway, Listen To allows you to send audio out from a plugin to a, either a mobile app or a web browser, which you know you can access from a mobile uh, from a phone or a tablet. But guess what? Parsec isn't just for tablets. Listen to isn't just for tablets or, or smartphones. You can also use a regular laptop computer or another desktop. So let's say I want to record somebody in the attic. I could take the other computer down to the basement and over Wi-Fi, or if you have a fast enough cell phone connection over a hotspot or whatever and do it that way. The idea is that you are going to combine our technology that we have access to now. So we're, we're going to combine Parsec with Listen To, or also uh, if you use Reaper, NinJam, if you know how to set up a NinJam server, which I'm not going to show in this video, but if you can set up a NinJam server, there might be other programs I'm not aware of that can do this as well, plugins. Um, let me know in the comment section below if there's another program that's like Listen To. But the other thing you want to do is combine this with Sonarworks reference because more than likely you're going to need to wear headphones wherever you're going. Otherwise, if you have speakers, hey, you should still use some kind of speaker calibration software anyway. So either ARC from IK Multimedia or Sonarworks reference. And also you can combine it with Waves NX or All D's Reveal Plus. That's a new program that puts you inside of a virtual recording studio. It tries to emulate the way speakers sound in a real control room. Anyway, I'll list all these apps and plugins below. But the bottom line is, this solves a major problem as long as there's room. Because I know not everybody has a gigantic house. If you don't have a gigantic house, here's another solution. You can take your butt out to the car or your SUV if you have one. Again, I'm, I'm making assumptions here, but go to your car and put headphones on. And then you can, you know, use, listen to the app or go into Google Chrome or Firefox or what have you and listen to your tracks that way. So basically you're controlling with Parsec and you're listening with Listen To or you know the web browser version of it. And I to me, like I said guys, this is a game changer to me because I can't soundproof the rooms in this house. It's just too expensive, you know? You have to have a purpose-built studio with a room within a room and then you gotta surround it with rubber and all this other stuff. Don't need to do that anymore. I can park my microphone, and yes, okay, somebody's going to say this. Why don't you just run 100 foot long XLR cables? Because you run into problems that way. You could also run what's called a snake box, but then you run into other problems with like people tripping and <laughs> things like that. So if you don't want to have a mess going through your house because a 100 foot long cable is nothing to sneeze at, then I recommend trying this out. And, you know, if you like it, let me know. If you don't, if you think I'm crazy, go ahead and let me know that too. But I was so happy to discover Parsec before I was trying other programs. They, they just weren't to my satisfaction. And I really hope Parsec lasts for a long time. Again, I don't even know who they are, why they make their software, how they make their money. I have no idea. But, you know, it's kind of like OBS Studio where it's like people are just you know, making things because it's fun and maybe they want to get a job somewhere. I don't know. I don't, I don't understand some developers, but these guys are making a great program. It is not 100% foolproof, but it is what it is. Anyway, my uh, recording is about to wrap up. My battery's dying, so I have to go. Thank you all for watching. This has been Adam for realhomerecording.com. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up or thumbs down and consider subscribing. Have some questions? Feel free to ask them in the comment section below.